Hi guys, this is Butte from Precious Plastic Philippines. So this is a tour and quick video overview of the hacked log splitter into a plastic injection molder. So at its heart is a five to six ton hydraulic injection or hydraulic log splitter. Um, this particular model is Ryobi brand, but there are many other brands out there that uh, are the same thing, just sold under different brands. Um, first of all, what we have here is a one inch round bar uh, that is used as the piston, which pushes the plastic through the barrel like a syringe and then out and into your mold that screws onto the end here. Okay, the outside diameter, this one is 42 millimeters. Um, the inside is turned down, to, is bored out and reamed at uh, one inch. Uh, we recommend boring and reaming uh, to get a smooth finish. Um, if you omit the reaming step to save money, you will find that it will take a while for the machine to break in. Uh, in addition, um, because it is bare metal on metal, um, especially at the beginning, you will need to be putting some grease on the piston here a little bit to keep the keep it from jamming inside the barrel the barrel itself is um, on this particular unit is five um, brass heater bands 220 volt and one heat zone uh, over top of that we have covered it with um, uh, muffler exhaust wrap insulating wrap and then over the top of that to hold it in place we've used high temperature captain tape and then uh, normally for a machine like this we have an additional uh, stainless steel sleeve that goes over top of this unit it's just been removed for demonstration um, the frame that it's sitting on uh, was made by us you do not have to use a frame. We just put it on here to make it easier to move around on caster wheels, which uh, makes things more convenient. Here's another hack that we did on the, in, on the uh, log splitter. And that is we added a four inch um, uh, exhaust, uh, like a round duct exhaust fan. This one's 25 watts. This one runs continuous to keep the motor cool um, otherwise the motor only the motor fan only cools and then in between uses it doesn't have uh, a fan there to cool keep the motor cool or to cool the motor down and so this allows you to run a higher duty cycle than to then unless you ran it and then over could overheat the motor um, overall everything in here is controlled with a circuit breaker this one is 16 ampere double pull double throw uh, the temperature controller is a rex c100 uh, k-type thermocouple um, temperature controller you can buy these online and then inside here we have a uh, bus bar to distribute the electrical current um, to the various parts of the machine um so when when this is set up when you set up this and so what we well first of all what we did we we made a we cut off the the splitting wedge and we made a flange and then we made another flange so way this bolts on and off so and then we bolted then we welded the barrel straight onto the flange so what this does is um in order to get everything straight and aligned we pushed we put the barrel or i'm sorry the, the plunger all the way in, into the barrel so it's aligned so that way this is aligned here and then we move the ram forward to touch here and then we weld it spot weld it and then we cycle it back and forth to ensure that nothing is binding and that it's traveling uh you know parallel so that is like one of the biggest uh biggest hurdles to get it um to get everything straight and then once you are satisfied you can full weld on the on the ram 
your uh, piston and uh, it will uh, be all aligned once you once you're satisfied everything's aligned and in place um, to load it so so to load it um, we load plastic into the hopper uh, can you plug this in so we're going to turn this on and we're going to demonstrate how to load it Can you put some plastic in here? So first thing, we turned it on. You can hear the fan turning on. Um, temperature is set right here. So it's set at 200, it's current temperature is 38 degrees Celsius. We have a pre-measured um, shot of plastic, so we're gonna put this in here. But as you see, it doesn't all the way, go all the way in and this is now the hot part of the machine. So, you load the machine. So, as you see, we're gonna cycle the machine forward a little bit, okay? So, we're gonna push the plastic into the, into the barrel. Okay. And so that's how we cycle the plastic, push the plastic into the barrel. So right now the plastic is about right here, um, melting. So it's about right here. Um, and then once we're, everything is hot, um, we can ram the whole thing home and we have a measured amount of plastic um, coming, from the, coming from the machine. Um, so yeah, this is about it with how, how it's designed. It's a pretty simple plastic injection molder. Um, oh, so another thing is attaching the mold to the end of the barrel. So, the mold. so here's, a, here's an example of one mold. Uh, what we did was we had the mold machined out of steel and then we put a nut inside the mold so this just fits together just like that we clamp it tight and then we screw this with, with clamps Now the mold is going to be put onto the machine. It's just screwed on. Okay, there you go. So there, that is how the mold is attached to the end of the machine. Once the mold is full, um, you just unscrew it, take apart the mold, you pry everything out using a, uh, we use a putty knife to pry everything out of the mold. Um, and then we, if we need a mold release, we can spray it with a silicone mold release spray. So yeah, that is how our plastic injection machine uh, operates. Um, it, this is not exactly a very fast machine. Uh, generally, we're only getting maybe 60 to 80 um, pieces uh, in a day, but if you are uh, making high value items or for prototyping, uh, it works fine. Um, the maximum shot size that we are able to get with this machine is 100 grams of high polypropylene or high density polyethylene plastic. Um, the cycle between times um, with this part here that we've been making, um, that is the piece in this mold. Um, this one is 30, 30 grams and the cycle time is about four minutes. So it's basically as fast as we can open up the mold, um, fill, put, a new, put in a new shot of plastic, open, fill the mold, open the mold, 
uh, remove the part, put everything back together, and put it back on the machine. So generally that's about four to five minutes. Uh, if you're doing a larger shot size, of course, you know, it could be all the way up to 10 minutes with, uh, with a 100 gram shot. Anyways, if you have any questions or whatever, just drop a line in the comments. Thank you for watching.